videos posted on social media by blogger Kobiche at 3.59 a.m. on Saturday show a man actively vandalizing the effigies of the six men who were pivotal in Ghana's struggle for independence from British colonial rule. The statue, mounted at the Kotuka International Airport runabout in Accra, features the faces of Ghana's first president, Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the father of the current president, Edward Akufuado, William Uforiata, Yimano Obechibilamte, J.B. Dankwa and Akwaje, a man identified by police as Nuo Gavu, has been arrested in connection with the incident and is currently being questioned by the police investigators. The act has left residents in a state of confusion. Uh, well, I think it's a bad thing to do. Uh, I wish I'd know, the, I'd, I'd know the reason why the person did that. Because for me, this serves as a, you know, a monumental thing for all of us Ghanaians here. So I think it's, it's a bad thing to do. Of course, you could, you could read a lot of meanings into this. It could be anger. For, you know, we are, in a politi we are in a political season. So people do things for various reasons. But if you should ask me, I think it's, you know, me. me I can say it, it, no one in his right senses should do such a thing or will do such a thing. So it's two things. Either the person is out of his mind or it could be out of, you know, mere jealousy or anger. One resident told Joy News one of the damaged effigies was removed by some men dressed in police uniforms just hours after the incident. Well, that was in the afternoon. I was here. I was looking at them. So they carried uh, the, the portrait um, inside the car. Uh, 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 they, they carried the sculptor inside the car. So they were like... Five people carried it um, inside a black van. Um, I saw them um, with uh, something like yellow, the right police at the back. They were standing there where they were carrying it inside. Last month, the country was embroiled in controversy for weeks after President Akufuado, in his Founders Day message, expressed displeasure at the notion that Ghana was solely founded by Kwame Nkrumah. I speak to you this evening rejecting completely the notion that Ghana was founded by one man. Whilst Kwame Nkrumah's contributions to our independence are undeniable and unassailable, it is important to acknowledge for our self-respect that the struggle for our nation's freedom was a collective effort. The debate over the big sis and the founding of Ghana has long been a contentious issue in the country. However, these figures remain an integral part of Ghana's history, featured on various currency notes and in school curricula, among other significant places. Adubia Asaris report for Joy News.